the exclusive interview you'll see first on CBS Mornings. President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke with Charlie Dagan in northeastern Ukraine near the front lines where his country's under-equipped soldiers are struggling right now to hold on to territory. Charlie is with us from Kyiv and has much more. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning to you, Jerico. We were originally supposed to meet the president on the front lines, but at the last minute, they decided it was just too dangerous. It just shows how unpredictable the fight has become with Russian forces on the attack across several fronts. Who is Putin? What is we met up with what President really Zelensky want? at an undisclosed location close to the what Russian border in the east. And I think that's Bombed out buildings as a backdrop are easy to find here. Uh, Mr. President, I want to ask you, first of all, can you describe what the frontline fighting is like as we head into spring? What's going on now on yeah. the front line? Yeah. Okay. So the situation is we, we stabilized it on the east. Mm -hmm. It's better than it was two months ago, two or three months, when we had a big deficit of uh, artillery and munition, different kinds of weapons. But he says they can't hold that line much longer without more military aid and now. So you're expecting a counteroffensive in May, June from the Russians? I think so. What sort of weapons do you need to stop that counteroffensive? No more Adin. Number one is anti-air defense and artillery shells. That's what we need. We joined the president on an inspection of vast new underground fortifications. While lawmakers struggle over the decision to continue supporting Ukraine, do you think Russians are taking advantage? Russia is using that 100%, not 50-50, 100%. We have almost no artillery remaining. Zelensky says he's aware the war in Gaza has diverted American attention and resources. First and foremost, we understand that there is a humanitarian disaster there. But of course, it took attention away from Ukraine. It's a fact. And when you lose the attention from your region to other regions, then it is obviously good for Russia. Russia knows that the world's help and support is not focused on Ukraine now. Last month, you said if we have American support, we will win. If we don't have American support, we will lose. It's true. Simple as that. Ukraine, but Ukraine it, will lose. But it's not, but, it, but it's not simple. President Zelensky said if Ukraine were to lose, Putin would be on NATO's doorstep. He said while he's grateful for U.S. support, with Russia on the attack, he says what's needed most here is the Patriot defense systems. Tony? He's not wrong about NATO and the doorstep there if Russia wins. Charlie Daggett, a forest in Ukraine. Charlie, thank you very much.